Today I'm going to do another kind of wig review. I guess you'd call it a review. I've had this one a while. This was actually one of the first wigs I ever bought. This wig is Picture Perfect by Forever Young. It's a budget wig. It's not very expensive. I think it's usually, you could usually get it for about 45 bucks maybe. Um, maybe even less than that uh, if you have a coupon code. Now this is in the color 24B613 and it's got this skin parting right here. This does not have a lace front. This does not have a mono part. Nothing that fancy. Um, however, I took some dark blonde L'Oreal root spray, which I don't know if I have anymore. I think I used it all. And just kind of sprayed it in this area to make it look, you know, a little bit different up there. Um, and it's a very bright, a very light bright blonde when you first get it. I, I'm not super crazy about this wig. I mean, I guess it's okay if if maybe you're just starting out. And it, to me, it seemed like I had to mess with it quite a bit. It was very, very shiny when I got it. So I had to use a whole lot of this dry shampoo just to get it to tone it down to look like anywhere near what human hair would look like. It was very shiny. The other thing I don't like about this wig, I don't really like these skin parts. They don't look very realistic. You almost kind of have to either darken them in or color them in. And this wig, and I don't know, I don't know. There, there's there's this short hair right here. Instead of, I wish they would have made that this little short hair long. Because it almost seems like, why is that there? Like, what's going on here? And I believe I've thinned out the bangs. So what I like to do with these short hairs is I just kind of tuck them under. Or put them like, I'll put them kind of behind my ear or almost like under the wig because if you do that it, and bring this hair kind of forward it'll look like you have like your hair tucked in behind your ear which I think this looks more natural than how the wig comes if you kind of tuck it in behind your ear. The cap kind of runs small in these. My head circumference is 21 and a half I believe um, and this cap is pretty dang tight like it literally just fits. There is no permatease in this at all. I wish I could back my camera up, guys. I feel like, you know, I'm really close. But, um, so, the, the curls are really, really cute in it. Um, it, she's kind of a longer wig. Here she is from the back. It's, it, I really like the wave pattern in her. Um, here's the other side. It is kind of pretty. I mean, it just, like, once you have a wig that's, and it more expensive, uh, then this one almost doesn't cut it. You notice differences right away. It's just not as comfortable. The hair quality is just not as good. It's just not as realistic. Um, but overall, I mean, if, if you, you know, you could probably mess with it and really make it look nice, but you know, if, if, if you want something super realistic, I would suggest getting, you know, saving up your money and buying something like super realistic. Um, it, but it, but it's not super uncomfortable. It's actually quite comfortable for me, and I don't think it looks too bad. I've I've like I said, I've dulled quite a bit of the shine. Let me see if I can get you close to the part there, so you can kind of see it. It's I think if you, I believe I put a little bit of powder or something in there too. But again, I've darkened this root quite a bit to try and make it look more realistic. But I don't think it looks too bad, guys. What do you think? Um, but I just kind of wanted to show it to you. Um, it's just got a basic cap. And, um, very basic cap. The ear tabs are right here on me. Um, and it's got the, like, bra strap adjusters to tighten up the nape area. It's not an extended nape or anything like that, but I, I really do like the curl pattern. I think, the you know, just, there's just a little bit about it that doesn't look realistic. Like, the hair, I don't know, just, you know, if you want something super realistic, this isn't really the way to go. <laughs> but, um... But she's cute. I mean, she's kind of cute. You know, she's kind of cute. She ain't bad. Like, like I said, I probably used, I, I used quite a bit of, um, dry shampoo to get this thing settled down. When I first got her, she was like, looked super blonde and looked super, super bright and like really bright, like not realistic type of bright. But the more I see her, the more I kind of like her. She, she's, I think she's kind of cute, you know? Maybe I'll wear her all day today and see how I like her. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to share it with you. So this is, again, this is um, Forever Young Picture Perfect. So yeah, just want to show it to you guys. And uh, 
let you know my thoughts on it in case you weren't were looking to buy one. Um, you'll probably definitely have to use some dry shampoo. You'll probably definitely have to mess with this bang area. and probably definitely have to mess with the parting to make it look right. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.